In Alexandria, Louisiana, the driver of that red Mustang is clearly signaling a left turn. Still, police immediately pull him over. The driver, Mario Rosales, asks the cops for an explanation. So, can you be honest with me? Why am I being stopped? He's a failure signal. That's straight, pure, straight, honest answer. He failed to signal, so we stopped you. Failure to signal, even though the police dash camera shows he did signal. But this stop gets even worse. Hey, we're, we're just talking to people about police stop. Mario Rosales tells police he has a firearm in his car, but not on him. The police have no reason to believe Rosales is lying or armed and dangerous. Still, the officers search him, violating his rights. Hey, can I have your permission to retrieve that firearm out of your gun, out of your uh, vehicle? Uh, no, I don't want anybody searching my vehicle. Okay, cool. Rosales stays calm, but does not give permission for the police to search his car. Hey, listen, I don't know if my partner's done this or not, but I'm going to do it, okay? Uh, you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you to call the law to rights. An officer then gives Rosales a Miranda warning, which informs people they have the right not to incriminate themselves. The reason I did that is I got a couple questions that may or may not pertain to your guilt or innocence, right? So I always advise before I ask those types of questions. That goes to the, the Fifth Amendment, right? So anytime you're not comfortable with one of my questions, you can say pass. Are you familiar with the Fifth Amendment? Do you mind emptying out your pockets for me on the hood of my car? The officers already searched Rosales for weapons, but now they want to frisk him for evidence of crimes. But the officers do not have a warrant. So if they were going to search him lawfully, they would first need to arrest him. Instead, the police intimidate Rosales and suggest that things could get worse. So Rosales empties his own pockets. Nothing else? Do you mind if I check? Hey, grab my bar real quick. Do you mind if I check? Uh, Do you have something on you you're not supposed to have? I don't have anything on me. Yeah. I mean, I'd feel a lot safer if uh, she had her phone. She was able to record while you check me. Yeah, I record it. Americans have a First Amendment right to record the police, but the officers tell Rosales and his girlfriend Gracie not to record on their phone because the police are recording with their body cameras. Never mind that the body camera footage will be in the possession of police. Have you ever been arrested for anything? No, I have not. Never? Never. Okay. I have a clean record. I got you. Any marijuana in the vehicle? No. Uh, meth? No. Uh, heroin? The officer repeatedly asks Rosales about drugs, suggesting that's the real reason for the stop. Rosales has a right not to answer any questions, but does so anyway. Fentanyl. No. Prescription pills not prescribed. No. Okay. Cocaine. Crack cocaine. No. I don't, I don't do drugs. I don't have any kind of illegal substances. Okay. Even if Rosales had originally failed to signal, the courts have ruled that's not enough to then conduct a freewheeling investigation of drug crimes. When police pull you over for simple traffic violations, they are not allowed to detain you to ask about anything you might have done. If they want to question you about other illegal activity, they need to have what's known as RAS, reasonable articulable suspicion that you have committed a crime, are committing a crime, or about to commit a crime. Otherwise, the police can only move forward with the traffic ticketing process and then restore your freedom of movement. Do you live here? This is where I'm trying to uh, create my residence. Zalas has out-of-state license plates. Where do you live? I got you. I'm so trying to get... Because in order to me to change my address and all that, I need to get proof of residency. Yeah. So I've been having to swap over a lot of my bank statements yeah. and all that. So if you move from out of Then the police run his record. Did you call him up yet? Huh? Say what? Did you call that up yet? I would say that there's more to this than meets the eye. I would okay. check that and I would check this. Fail to signal, fail to update his Go ahead. driver's life. Oh, here comes the 32. Oh. The officers are shocked that a Latino man driving a bright red Mustang with out-of-state plates is not a wanted criminal. After a stop that should have taken less than five minutes took 20, the officers finally write Rosales a ticket for failure to signal and not switching his registration. Hmm. This stop shows that even when some police are calm, they may still be racist, lie, and violate constitutional rights. 
To be clear, the U.S. Supreme Court has ruled that police can follow you until you commit a minor traffic violation and pull you over if they have a hunch you've done something wrong. But pulling you over without any reason to believe you've broken the law violates the Fourth Amendment. And a stop based on somebody's skin color or ethnicity is racial profiling and illegal. That's straight, pure, straight, honest answer. He failed to signal, so we stopped you. In this case, after Mario Rosales obtained the police and body dash camera footage, the city of Alexandria, Louisiana dropped all the citations. Still, given the unlawful behavior of the police, Rosales recently teamed up with the Institute for Justice to file a lawsuit against the Alexandria Police Department. Kudos to Rosales and the Institute for Justice, a nonprofit law firm that represents clients free of charge. Their effort to hold the Alexandria, Louisiana police accountable is important, and it sends a message beyond Louisiana that racial profiling and unlawful police detentions violate the Constitution and will not be tolerated. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.